Hi there. If you're like me and acts like a one-man band 99% of the time, adding some camera movement can be quite tricky at times. Sometimes it's better to just make sure that the camera's in place and foremost in focus so you don't have to reshoot it later on. While these techniques won't replace the glory of actually moving the camera, they could at least make your static shots less boring to look at. Let's start with a dolly shot. The footage is in 4K, so it's downscaled to 50% to match the 1080p composition. Add a keyframe at the beginning and scale it up at the end of the clip. Go to Effects and add the basic 3D effect. Select Tilt and add a keyframe. Go to the end of the clip and add another keyframe with a value about minus 10. Now it's zooming in and slightly tilting, giving it the effect of the camera moving forwards. Let's fake a tripod tilt. Again, the footage is in 4K, so I'll scale it down to 60%. Insert a position keyframe where you want the tilt to end. Add another keyframe to set the starting point. Now you have some basic movement between two keyframes. To make it slow down, select the keyframes and use Ease In. Add the basic 3D effect. Hold down the Shift key to snap on to the last keyframe. Select Tilt and add a keyframe. Go back to the start and add another keyframe with a value of minus 8. Now we get some dead space at the top, so I'll adjust the starting position. Select the keyframes and use Ease In. Boom. Let's fake a tracking shot. Now shooting in 4K is crucial, cause we're basically going to zoom out all the way. Add keyframes for position and scale. Copy the footage and paste it on top. We only need the first frame. Drag it to the end of the clip. Change the opacity so you see both clips. Select the clip below and adjust the position and scale it so it matches. I'm getting some dead space above, so it's not going to be perfect. So now you have a tracking shot of sorts. It may not be that great or useful, but it was fun to try out. Now, when faking camera movement in Premiere, this is my favorite tool. Add the corner pin effect. Add keyframes, both start to finish, for the lower left and right. First I'll stretch the lower right to about 4000. Then I go to the end and stretch the lower left to minus 150. Oh yes, fake 3D for the win. I guess it sort of works for this shot as well, but my body is getting slightly too distorted, destroying the mighty illusion. And finally, let's fake a crane shot. I'm gonna use the corner pin tool once again and add keyframes just like before. Stretching the lower left to minus 200 and the lower right to 4100. Now you got a fake camera going up into the fantastic sky! Well, that'll be all, folks. Stay creative, be epic, and please subscribe!